Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Monday the 8th of August 2022. Now I am in Slovakia in this coniferous forest and I will show you mushrooms which I was lucky to find today and also in days before and after. We had long period of dry weather so there is not too many mushrooms growing but I have found some of them so let's have a look. This is sound of aspen trees in wind. I am in this aspen tree island on a meadow. And I have found some mushrooms which grow under aspen trees. For example, this lessinum species. I think this one could be lessinum albostapitatum or lessinum aurantiacum. Both of them grow under uh, aspen trees. Beautiful orange head. I think this one is Lessinum albostapitatum. Usually the stem is white, but during dry weather you can see dark flakes, which is exactly this case. Normally I would not pick such small ones. There is another one, but as I said, the weather is very dry and I don't believe they would survive for much longer. There are some mushrooms which I don't know, but up there there is one more mushroom which I want to take. It's a different kind of bolete which grows under aspen trees also lessinum species and this is my first find of this species you can see the name in the subtitles now so from this place we have these three guys I decided to have a look to the grass at the edge of the forest and here I have spotted this nice Scarletina bolete. It's very pretty. Just a little bit of a damage from slugs but I believe it will be healthy. This is probably the first time that I have found a mushroom by sound. If you have a theory how this is possible, you can let me know in the comments. I think the beginning of the video is a very good hint for you. And here we have one more Lessinum albostapitatum. I will check the English name, but in our language, in translation, this is an Aspen bolete. This orange mushroom is a Lactarius. Most probably Lactarius deterimus because this one likes to grow under spruce, spruce trees and there are some spruce trees around. I've just turned off the camera and I spotted a mushroom which was the true reason why I was searching for orange stuff here. Seems like this Lessinum albostapitatum. I just need to get to it through these dense trees and bushes. Not sure if you can see it already. What I can feel now is spikes of the bushes here. But I'm getting there. Can you see that? It looks really awesome, very thick.
but still young, almost closed. So I hope there will be no worms in there. It looks really beautiful. This is how this small island with some aspen trees looks like. And I was finishing the circle around it when I spotted this huge orange head here, which is obviously too old. I'm not even going to touch it, but later I have spotted something bright orange colored here and it looks awesome looks like a very fresh but also already quite huge aspen bolete so beautiful and it, maybe you have spotted Behind it there is one more, smaller, but still perfectly looking. Here they are. What an awesome find. This is the first time in my life finding such a beautiful pieces of, of this mushroom species. From this spot. Beautiful orange mushrooms. I'm not recording the cleaning process today much, but these guys really deserve it. So let's start. Wow, I didn't expect this one would be healthy. It's the biggest one. So this is really awesome. The same for this one. Amazing. How about the youngest one, smallest one, also healthy, that's perfect. Now I can definitely say this is my best find of this species so far. That's my find from today. And also we can have a look at these Lactarius. In summer they are often wormy, but even this mushroom is healthy, so I'm very happy now. Not many mushrooms in my basket, but they are all so beautiful. I think we have some oysters here. Latin name should be Pleurotus pulmonarius. It's a summer version of oyster mushrooms, as I said before. I'm not going to pick them because they are not growing in huge amounts, but it's always nice to see this mushroom. I have just entered another place full of aspen trees. And the expected mushroom is here. And it's not the only one. This is the first one and I'm a little bit afraid it's a bit too late for it. Maybe it will be too old, but we will see. The second one is here. It's also huge, but this one I can definitely say is not good enough. 
are not good anymore. And here we have two more. Maybe this one is the prettiest. And this one is the biggest. It's extremely huge. So these four guys very close to each other. But the biggest one it's full of worms. I think you can see them rolling out from the hole. So of course all of them were full of worms like this one or even even worse. So what I do with old mushrooms that I don't want to take, I usually put them on some high place where their spores can freely fly away and spread. So maybe this will have some impact for having more mushrooms in the future. We'll see. These mushrooms are quite rare, at least here in Slovakia. I forgot their name, but you should be able to see it in the subtitles right now. And this is my first time finding these. When they are younger, they have nice purple color. Now these seem to be a bit older. I really didn't expect these two because they look like from a book. Fly agarics. Seems like a beautiful tip. Wow, this one is perfect. Here I have something more. This looks like a small fly agaric. And this looks like something we want to pick today. Boletus edulis. Very nice and I believe it will be healthy again. Both of them were healthy, not a single hole from worms. And here it's a little fairy tale place. Two fly agarics. There are more and more puffballs in the forests these days. Some nice chanterelles here. Some nice clustered mushrooms here. And some chanterelles.
there are quite many blueberries. Behind them there are these two russulas. And on the other side of this forest road I've spotted some huge chanterelles. I just need to carefully get to them. Here they are, very huge and very fresh. A little surprise next to the forest road, some kind of lessinum. Pretty nice. Normally you would think that these mushrooms with bright orange or bright red heads are very easy to find. It doesn't have to be true always because they very often grow in tall grass which makes it impossible to spot them from distance. Here I have two Bigger one. And smaller one. I think the big one will probably have some worms in there. But the small one looks pretty well. Can you see that? One more perfect specimen. I love how they look like. I believe these are one of my favorite mushrooms to find. And I don't find them often so I always appreciate it. So guys, that's it for this video. That's the overview of mushrooms I was able to find in Slovakia at the beginning of August. I hope you liked this video. If yes, click the like button. If you don't want to miss my future videos, you can subscribe. Or you can check all the links I have in the description, like my Instagram or similar. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.